hot and humid today, and we're going to continue to see that heat stick around for one more day. We do see a bit of relief in sight Friday, Saturday into Sunday with temperatures near normal by the end of the week. High of 90 degrees for Thursday, so still one more hot day ahead of us, and then 81, 80 degrees by Saturday, so we have a gorgeous weekend ahead of us. Right now, temperatures still holding on to the upper 80s. 87 right now in Green Bay, mostly sunny skies. 88 in Clintonville, 89 in Watoma with a mixture of some sun and clouds. Dew points are in the upper 60s and lower 70s, so a bit oppressive outside, but when you factor in the dew points, it feels like it's in the 90s across most of the viewing area. It feels like it's 93 in Green Bay, 90 in Clintonville, and it feels like it's 95 degrees in Watoma. Heat, indi heat indices today and also high temperatures. It hit a high of around 92 in Wapaka, and we saw a heat index of 97 degrees out in Shawano, high of 91 with a heat index of 96. So some areas almost felt like they were at 100 degrees, and it's only going to get warmer as we head in tomorrow. Usually we're in the upper 70s. Normal high is at 79 degrees. We're running 10 degrees above normal for this time of year, and we're only going to see it get warmer as we head into tomorrow. Temperatures off towards the west, reading upper 80s and 90s, and well, we're going to see that as we head into tomorrow. Dew points are also going to remain in the 70s for tomorrow, but we do see a bit of relief inside as we have a cold front that will push through Friday morning, which will knock dew points down as well as temperatures. But for tomorrow, highs again in the upper 80s and lower 90s, so another hot day on tap for us and then overnight lows in the mid 70s. And then you notice on Friday, we do see temperatures near seasonal for this time of year in the lower 80s. Dew points tomorrow, again in the mid to upper 60s and lower 70s, so another humid, sticky day for us here. And then as a cold front moves through, during the overnight hours of Friday into Friday morning, you notice we start to see them get a little bit more comfortable as we progress through your early morning hours and into the afternoon. However, we do still see the chance of some Isolated severe storms moving through as we head into Thursday night and into Friday morning. We have been scaled back on the severe weather threat for tomorrow. They shifted the slight risk into the center half of the uh, state of Wisconsin and we're under the marginal risk as of right now. But we could still see that isolated severe storm as we head into tomorrow afternoon with gusty winds as well as some heavy rain at times with those showers and thunderstorms developing. So here's precision cast for tomorrow morning. We will make up to a mixture of some sun and clouds and then showers and thunderstorms develop up to the north north during your lunch hour and then we start to see showers and thunderstorms start to move through during the late hours tomorrow here across the viewing area out towards Anago seeing some heavy showers at around 10 o'clock lingering into the overnight hours but as we wake up Friday morning we do see a little bit more sun and decrease in clouds throughout the afternoon and we do see nicer weather as we head into your weekend 68 degrees for tonight partly cloudy skies humid conditions with winds out of the southeast between 5 to 10 miles per hour and then for tomorrow highs tapping out in the upper 80s and lower 90s with partly sunny skies and after north after Afternoon showers and thunderstorms developing with winds out of the southwest. Extended forecast 81 by Friday with breezy conditions, mostly sunny skies. Saturday into Sunday, a mixture of some sunny clouds for both days and temperatures comfortable with highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Monday, sun and clouds with highs in the lower 80s. And then we see showers and thunderstorms return back into our forecast by Tuesday into Wednesday with highs near seasonal in the mid to lower 80s. So unfortunately, one more hot and sticky day, but we do see relief in sight, Stacey. But summer is starting to wind down. So myself, I welcome these hot and humid days. Yeah, Not me, everybody feels that way, though. Yeah, you know what? I would take the humidity over the wind chill factor any day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. We don't even want to talk about wind chills exactly. yet. Exactly. No. There's plenty of time for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, Governor Scott Walker sends a letter to President Obama today asking for federal emergency.